So a video went viral this week of a Bengals fan from New Milford, Connecticut, getting surprised with Bengals gear, a Dalton jersey, and tickets to a Bengals-Jets game coming up here in a couple of weeks at uh, Paul Brown Stadium. The guy lives in New Milford, Connecticut. It might be the feel-good moment of the season, although, frankly, I, I, I hope it isn't. Anyway, it went viral. We thought we'd hunt the guy down. So from New Milford, Connecticut, is our lifetime Bengals fan, Stephen Kenny. Ke- Stephen, how are you? I'm terrific, Mo. Thank you so much. Um, I'm glad you're with us. By the way, you can watch the video on my blog at ESPN1530.com. Stephen, I'm watching this today. I saw it on Deadspin originally. It's a video of a, of a son giving his dad Bengals tickets. First of all, in, in West Milford, Connecticut, why are you a Bengals fan? Well, I was born in Mansfield, Ohio, right. and, uh, and, and for the first 12 years of, of living in Ohio, I, was, I grew up in Dayton. And in 68, when I was 13 years old, of course, as you know, the, uh, the Bengals franchise was, uh, was hatched. Right. And I became an instant fan and have been ever since, even though uh, that very same year moved to Houston, two years later to New Jersey, two years later to, uh, to Connecticut, where I've been ever since. And like the Connecticut, that's tough sledding for a Bengals fan. You're in between Boston and New York, and, and those franchises have, have won a lot. So it had to be a tough road for you. Well, Bengals, Bengals, are, Bengals fans are hard to find in this neighborhood, but <laughs> uh, I've been, uh, been a fan during the, uh, the Kenny Anderson years and especially the Boomer Esiason years. I mean... Just love Boomer, Cheryl, uh, Sydney, Gunner, love them. Uh, just a terrific, uh, terrific family, and the Boomer's been great on and off the field. And I'm a real big fan of uh, his show here on uh, on the local radio. Yeah, WFAN. Now you uh, you've never been to an NFL game, much less a Bengals game. So your son makes a video. He surprises you with tickets. He's wearing a Giants T-shirt, which you'll have to forgive him for that, I guess. Did you see this coming? I had no idea it was coming. And uh, the reason he's a, a Giants fan is because we've encouraged all of his, uh, him and all of his sisters to uh, pretty much pursue their own path. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Um, all right, so I, I'm, I'm just kind of curious. In all these years of, of rooting for the Bengals, you never thought of, of making the trip out here to see him? Uh, well, you know, young family, you know, raising four kids, just, uh, you know, one reason or another, just, just, could not find the time or the money to do it. All right, so I'm watching that. I watched the video this morning. He gives you a hat. He starts laying on you Bengals gear. He tells you you guys are coming to uh, Cincinnati to see a game. Um, what was what was the the I, we I watched the reaction, but tell me what you're thinking as he actually gives you Bengals tickets. I'm really glad you asked that question because, you know, as I told Brian uh, about it. You know, it's all it's it's all about. It's all about the love. It really is. Yeah. You know, I, I was thinking about, uh, you know, how much I love the kids and uh, and Brian and, and it, this kid and, and his sisters just come out and they do stuff like this all the time. And I, I, I consider myself so lucky and so blessed that I have four terrific kids, a great wife. Oh. Uh, we've been married uh, 35 years. You know, it just all came to a head right there at that moment. And I just considered myself and still do obviously the uh just very blessed and lucky yeah i can hear the emotion in your voice and i see the emotion when i'm watching the video and you actually say i've never held bengals tickets in my hand now you you tend to hear like packers fans and and giants fans and cowboys fans say things like that has paul brown stadium always been kind of your holy grail uh I don't know. I don't know. It's really not about the stadium. It's. Yeah. I've always wanted to go there. You know, it. But the uh, the Bengals team uh, and and their struggles over the years and and the eighty eight, especially the eighty eight yeah. uh, eighty nine season, the AFC Championship was which was really a highlight mm-hmm. when Boomer was at the helm. Um, yes, I've always wanted to uh, to get to Paul Brown Stadium. It was almost like. Uh, well, it's the Bengals' altar, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is. Um, by the way, the video, I mean, I, I said to somebody today, it's, if you're a Bengals fan, you'll like it, but if you, if you love your dad, if you love your kids, you'll like it. It's a great father-son moment. Have you heard, aside from you know, people like us, have you heard from anybody in Cincinnati? Have you heard from the Bengals at all since the video went viral? Uh, no. No, I haven't. <laughs> Actually, I was kind of surprised. You know, it's fun. I, I, I realized, you know, I realized, you know, it, it, I guess it was the first couple of minutes after this all started at our house that uh, my daughter was uh, videoing this, and I and I remember distinctly recalling, uh, "Please, guys, don't put this on Facebook." Yeah. Now, one way or another, it, it managed to uh, to get out there, and and I thought later, 
You know, I'm, I'm kind of glad that it did because yeah. you know this is an opportunity for uh, for fathers and sons. I hope to uh, to embrace. You know, the uh, the real joy that can come in bonding experience that can come from all of this. You know, it's funny you say that. I, uh, and uh, still a season ticket holder, had him with my dad until he passed away. And there's not a Sunday that goes by that I don't think about being in that stadium or watching the Bengals with him. And I know there's a lot of people in my shoes. And I know there's a – to me, I said to somebody today, I'm like, you know, those, those are the moments that I miss with my dad. And then if you're a kid, whether you're a little kid or if you're grown, if you can do those for your dad or somebody you're close to, your, your mom, you should do them. And it sounds to me like you could – you would agree oh absolutely i mean you know we only get to uh, make this trip through this life one time and i can honestly say without any doubt that this is one of those true joyous moments that comes from from being alive have you been to cincinnati oh i, li- I lived in dayton i've been through right. cincinnati many times uh right. but i've never been to uh, to a football game though. all right well um like stay in touch with us let us know where you're gonna be i'll buy you i'll buy you your your son a, a cold one or something all right well, let us do the same for you. If they lose, if they lose to the Jets, though, you can't come back. All right, deal. No, I, you know, I, I, it doesn't really mean it's it's about the game. It really yeah. is, Mo. It's about the game. Yes, I'd like to see the Bengals do well, um, I, 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 but it really doesn't matter. It, it, it really is. It's it's the whole body experience. It really yeah. is. I, I wish more people felt the way you did. Uh, it, travel safe uh, to our town. Enjoy the experience. It sounds like you have an awesome family. The video is really cool. Thank you for the time today, Stephen. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mo. It's a cool video. It just is. And it's simple, and these moments happen all the time. The cool thing is it connects sports, a team that most of us really like, and uh, moments moments that hopefully we make for uh, our parents. All right, 20 away from uh, 6 o'clock. Your phone calls are ahead on uh, on a number of things. Plus, why did Jim Riggleman, who's a K-12 